Hello everyone, TJ here and welcome back to another Rogue to Rivendell video. As you know, I've been making some videos on this squad and talking about why it's good in raids. And as you can see here, this team is not that good in raid. But what I want to show you is how you can do it as a free to play and get really good scores. So if you're ready, let's take a closer look. So I want to start out by showing you the actual team, how it looks like, and then we'll take it from there. So this is from a free-to-play guy from the guild who has been free-to-play the entire time. Except for one offer that he bought $10 for some shards, which, which didn't level his characters actually up. It just made it closer to 7. And with how heavy he's farmed them, they would still be at 7. So he actually felt really bad about doing it and it was the only offer he ever did. So I would still consider him free to play because he hasn't bought any green materials, he hasn't bought into any marquees, he has done absolutely nothing. He only bought that one Hobbit offer that we get in the start, which then comes uh, came back uh, some um, around a month ago. So I would still consider him free to play because he's not bought gold, he's not bought the XP offers that they released a few days ago, he's bought nothing, this has been purely free to play grinding and he suffered for it in arena and in his daily challenges but oh my what he has accomplished we're gonna start off with his frodo 10k power level as you can see here really really good and his abilities are basically uh, six 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 and four and as he says rivendell road to rivendell requires a lot of investment but overall frodo he has invested into him and he's saying he's doing some pretty good damage and i'll have to take his word for him because I don't have the team built up that heavy. Then we have Mary. And Mary, as you can see, is also really well built. He's halfway to seven. Uh, these are screenshots from like a few days ago. He is working on the abilities. And over here, he says, especially the, I believe it's special two, he was really uh, focused on for the um, stealth and everything. And I also Frodo's basic, he was really keen on here it is the keen eye i believe and the double up especially the double up because you gain an assist there so that was really important for him then we get to pippin the fool of a took and as always his heal is really vital but his basic is also really important for the raid and that is because that always removes unless there's a resistance check that happens then Pippin's basic removes a boon, which can work on the cave troll. And that's also where double up is really important because that calls Pippin as an assist, 100% guaranteed of the time. So that is really important to have those two. I know he wants to do um, quick thinking over here, and he also wants to do loyal to the last. Um, so that is what he's working on. Otherwise, he can correct me in the comments. Then we have Sam. And Sam is uh, pretty good. Like Sam, as people who have played him in arena knows, he can basically one one v one Ironhide in arena if they're equal power level due to his heal and everything. So overall, he really likes Sam. He got him from the event when because his road to Rivendell was built up so much that when they messed up the event, he got a seven star. So good for him. Some might deem it unfair, but he got a reward from uh, building it that much, so um, kudos. And he really likes Sam. Sam is really good. Uh, for he for me, I would at least do True Friend first, along with Press On, and then that is what I would say to do, because you want the assist and you want more Provoke stacks, uh, etc. Then we have Strider here, and as you can see, level 4 leader ability. He doesn't buy anything, no green materials. He went with the um, special one first for the most damage and then greatest huntsman the passive down here as you can just skimmed it it's a five so overall he's really working on the stuff and strider is just amazing he's so much fun at seven star honestly so that would be really really good and now that you have seen his squad, how well built it is, and he has said it does require a lot of investment. So if you want to go for Road to Rivendell, if you are free to play, you have to invest into the squad. 
strata you will get eventually so there is also some argument to be made there pippin is a good healer people like heals for raids etc and sam is also really really great so that's the thing if you want to use them you have to invest heavily into them but they should also work really well with the upcoming bomber changes because they have a lot of assist so they can also do other damage here and there and strider with an aoe is really good for chapter one so if you're ready I'm going to show you his uh, results from our latest uh, raid, which we did over 94 million. We improved by more than 6 million since last raid, and that is without the bomber chain. So that's really, really awesome. Great shout out uh, to um, DK crew, everyone there. You have done amazingly. We Also, the whales, but especially our free-to-play, we would not be able to do it without you. Keep up, improve slowly ask for advice, and be positive. This is not just for the guild that I'm in, but that's for every single person playing this game. Ask for advice, use the official Discord, be proactive. Uh, if your guild has a Discord, use it, be a part of it. It helps you a lot if there's a whale or two or other people who have tested something, newer players as well. Ask, learn from other people's mistake. And that way you don't have to waste your resources because as a free-to-play, this is a resource-heavy game. As the game continues to grow and evolve, it's by no means dead. Even though some people want to shoebox it, there's still growth potential. But that's also because the fact that the developers don't really want to take people from their own games. They want to steal from like Marvel Strike Force, Lord of the Rings Rise to War, other people, which I make, <laughs> which totally understands because... To play more than one game is uh, really hard, at least to commit with uh, buying, so yeah. Enough talk. Here we go, chapter 1. Almost 900k. He doesn't have that much time to uh, do, so uh, he just went with uh, 840k, which is also pretty good. I would take it for sure. And with the upcoming bombing changes, I'm sure he will be uh, able to do a 900k with this. It can still do 900k. He just doesn't have the time for it. But hey, this is uh, better than my Rivendell at the moment. So kudos to him as a free-to-play. And now you're going to see what is really surprising. He got to second topple with the troll. On difficulty 3, as you can see from the score. He is the first person in our guild. And there are some ways we have one who is about to hit 200k power. He got to the uh, second uh, topple. And all there is to say, well freaking proud moment like if that were me i would be like wow i would really be gloating about it in a try to be most positive not disrespecting way but yeah this is really amazing and it just confirms what i've said all along rivendell are good so those of those who have said don't farm rivendell uh road to rivendell they're wrong road to rivendell is great it just requires a lot of investment and again this guy has spent no money on extra gold, on extra XP or ability materials, nothing. He went for some shards, which just helped him further along for 7, but he would have been there by now anyways. It just allowed him to get there a little bit faster, so he didn't have to farm them. And honestly, if you were to buy one offer, $10 in a game, that's more than uh, most games offers for a starter pack or a season pass. So, and he actually felt bad about doing it because it was like, no, he wanted to get there total free to play. But in my book, still free to play because it speed him up with like 10 days or something like that. Nothing more. And now, chapter 3. Chapter 3, this is actually a really good score because there's a current bug with Strider that he can't stealth Frodo or Sam. Which makes it a little bit harder to make... Um, the swap uh, happens when Sam does his provoke and everything, because that uh, Estelle clears the marks, so the capture stacks, so so sad, so sad for him and everyone else. Hopefully it gets fixed very soon. And especially for me, I was really negative yesterday. Um, uh, I think as someone who DM'd me quite a lot, he probably sensed it because my road to uh, my rivendell team the tactic that i've done the last two chapter threes which got me close to 900k and always did above this kind of score i did like hundreds of attempts and my best score was 550 or something like that like they changed something i feel or i just had uh earth moon sun the stars 
Jupiter, everything, the entire cosmos was against me yesterday, unless they changed something. I couldn't get it to work the way I wanted, and I was really, really sad. So, yeah, uh, he he basically got the same score free-to-play as I, who am rushing towards an Elrond 7-star. Seven, seven and the way I'm rushing for that is two gem refreshes on Eladin per day, one on Lomian and one on Arwen, and I will probably swap over to do two on the other two as well, starting from tomorrow. So, yeah free to play you can get great scores and as i said this just goes to show it second topple first in the guild really well done like my rivendell squad is nowhere near for that so i feel this is really really awesome and it just goes to show that you can be effective in this game as a free to play and with lifts coming lifts will be difficulty 4 with the speed upgrade in case um, people are wondering about all the lift changes from other videos you're watching this team will be able to do well uh, when it's fully upgraded I hope for him that he gets the green material soon and then we'll see from there it's not gonna be the best best team out there that's still gonna be Rivendell and I feel overall second best team might be Gondor for the chapters but Seeing what he did here is I'm definitely push, uh, pushing uh, Road to Rivendell in, uh, for a worthwhile team for Minds of Moria raid overall. I hope some things get fixed so he can get a higher score in Chapter 3. And I'm sure when everything is leveled and he has more time, I'm sure he can get to a third topple here as well. That was it everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video with Road to Rivendell. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Drop a like on the video if you want. That would really mean a lot to me. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. I would really like this channel to grow. And I'll see you all in the next video.